Let us have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the entrance of your word this morning. Thank you for the light we are receiving from your word. Thank you for the light that is given to us by your word. Thank you for your divine presence in this house. Thank you for your praise that has filled the atmosphere. Thank you, Lord, for the glory of your presence. Thank you for your Shekinah glory. Thank you, Lord, for a new dawn, a new beginning, a fresh start, oh God, a turnaround for good. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. Father, as your word comes out this morning, Lord, let it mingle with faith in us. Let it transform us. Let it birth a change in us, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Look at your neighbor. Say it's good to see you. To see you good. Hallelujah. Awesome God. Awesome Jesus. Now God has given me a very unusual topic today. He says God's unusual earthquake. God's unusual earthquake. Hallelujah. Remember how we did our hallelujah. Halle, halle, hallelujah. Le, halle, hallelujah. Halle, halle. You know, that is an earthquake kind of hallelujah. And God is going to touch upon our lives this morning and is going to birth the changes that you and I are desperate for. The thing God has given us this month is rest. And today we are looking at this topic God's unusual earthquake. Hallelujah. We're going to read Acts 16. 19, and then we're going to jump to 22 to 26. Acts 16, 19, and 22 to 26. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. I'm going to jump to verse 22. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely, who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. Hallelujah. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, everybody says, suddenly, there was an earthquake. Hallelujah. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, everybody say, immediately, all the doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. The Bible says, suddenly there was an earthquake. And immediately, immediately everyone's bands was loose. There was an earthquake. The foundations of the prison shook. God's unusual earthquake. The Bible said there was a great earthquake. In other words, it wasn't a small earthquake. It was a great earthquake that took place. And the foundations of the prison shook. So what had happened earlier in our text? Paul and Silas were ministering. And there was this damsel who was possessed with the spirit of divination. And he was going around with them saying all kinds of things. You know, and Paul and Silas got crossed in the spirit. They cast out that demon from her. And as soon as they did, the masters of the girl were upset that the girl had been delivered. Because that was the demon they had, she had been using, you know, to suit say. And they were angry. So they caught Paul and Silas. They dragged them through the marketplace. Imagine what a day they had. They were injured. They were bruised. They became the object of ridicule. They ripped their clothes. They stripped them naked. As if that was not bad enough. After they had done all of that, they beat them. They laid many stripes on them. That's what we are told, you know. They were beaten, they were flogged. And to make matters even more worse, they were thrown into prison. And they told the prison guard, these ones must not escape. So the prison guard did what? He threw them in the inner prison. And to make sure that none of them could escape, he put chains, bands on their feet, 
tying them down that, okay, just in case anything remotely happens, these chains will hold you down. I don't know how many people are like that. For something you know nothing about, you just find yourself in this kind of mess. God will give you divine rest Amen. in Jesus' name. The same God of your pure image is not even born again. The same God that delivered Peter, that delivered Paul and Silas, that same God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Let your amen be more resounding. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. How does anyone find rest in this kind of situation? The Bible says in Matthew 11, 28, Matthew 11, 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God says, come to me. When you find yourself in a module like this, instead of getting better, it's getting worse. God says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy burdened, heavy laden, and I will do what? I will give you rest. How can we come to God? How can we come to God? Praise the name of the Lord. God is in heaven. We are here on earth. How can we come to God? We are here on earth. God is in heaven. How do we come to God? Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to learn a lesson or two from the life of Paul and Silas. The Bible tells us that Paul and Silas did two very important things. You want to experience rest? You must learn how to do these two important things. The first thing they did was pray. And this morning we're going to pray. How many people want to experience God's unusual earthquake? Hallelujah. I do. I do. They prayed. Even though they were in dire need, even though they were in a crisis, they still remembered God. They still trusted God. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 it says, pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Pray. Thank God we're in a season of prayer and fasting. Pray. Don't stop praying. Luke 18, 1. Luke 18, 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, saying, Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. I know there are some circumstances you may find yourself in that makes it difficult to pray, but you must pray still. You understand? I know there are some situations where you don't feel like praying, but you know you must pray. I can just imagine how Paul and Silas felt. Pain, bruises, wounded, emotionally battered, physically battered, but they prayed because they knew that <laughs> the Bible says, come unto me. And one of the ways you can come to God is to pray. So ask your neighbor, are you still praying? Are you still praying? Or have you given up on praying? Are you still praying? The second thing they did, they sang praises to God. That's why I made us do that hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Because you are going to praise God. How do we get to God? How do we come to God? God is in heaven. You can send your prayers to heaven. You can send your praises to heaven. Your prayers can get to where you can't get to. Your praises can get to where you can't get to. That's what they did. They praised God. They praised God so exuberantly that the other prisoners heard them. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, 1 Thessalonians 5.18, it says, In everything, give thanks. In every situation, give thanks. In every circumstance, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. In every situation, give thanks to God. This is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Keep on praising him. Ha! When they were praising God, do you know what they were doing? They were making a statement to God that they know that God was their only hope of deliverance. Every time you lift up your voice and you're praising God, you're making a statement to God that, God, you are the only hope of deliverance that I have. And the Lord will surely deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. How did God respond? God responded by sending an earthquake. Mm. Now, when you, if, they, if somebody, uh, maybe on the news, you know, the people that are weather forecasters, if they prophesy or they make a, they make a prediction that there's going to be earthquake, 
and they tell us in Britain there's going to be an earthquake. What is the first thought that flashes across your mind? Fear. Earthquake. Oh my God. Do we have underground bunkers where we can go and hide ourselves? I'm sure that was the thought that was going through their mind when they could feel the tremor. They could feel the, you know, they were praising God and they could feel the prison shaking. And I'm sure they're wondering, why is the prison shaking? Because the Bible said it was a great earthquake. The prison was shaking. The prison was shaking. Before I go on to what I think, some of, you know, in fact, when I was praying this in my mind, you know, I was saying, are they, are they thinking, are we going to die? You know, we are praising God, but things seem to be getting worse. We can feel the tremor. We can feel the tremor. So even if these people don't kill us, are we going to die because of this earthquake? Pause a minute. Now, what usually happens when there's an earthquake? You know, I was going through a list in my mind, and I'll read to you some of the things I wrote down. What usually happens during an earthquake? There's damage, isn't it? There's infrastructure damage, road damages, houses are damaged, hospitals damaged, schools are damaged, bridges are damaged, banks, shops. Crops, livestock, they're all damaged. Praise the name of the Lord. That's what happens when there's an earthquake. But then when there's an earthquake, families are destabilized. You know, sometimes you, one member of the family is lost, you know, so that whole family unit becomes destabilized. Sometimes the parents are gone and the children are left to fend for themselves. An earthquake is a really terrible situation. There's personal injury. Some people are hurt. Some people lose a limb. There's spread of disease. You know, there's sickness when there's an earthquake. You know, because everything is exposed. The hospitals are not functioning the way they're supposed to function. Water becomes contaminated. The air becomes contaminated, polluted. And as a result, you have sickness and diseases spreading. There's fire. I don't know if you've seen some earthquake. Because the line poles go down, because the gas tanks are exposed, you see explosions happening because of the earthquake. There's a loss of livelihood. Some companies, you know, are destroyed, are ruined in the earthquake. Some people lose their jobs because there's no company to go to. There's poverty. There's economic crisis. There's anarchy and disorder. Some of the, the documentaries you see, when there's an earthquake, the shops are open. What do people start to do? They start to loot. They start to go in there, free for all, carry what you can carry. So there's crime rates. And the worst of it all, there's loss of lives. That is what usually happens when there's an earthquake. So picture the mind of Paul and Silas when they could feel the tremor in the prison, wondering what is going to happen. Sometimes you are praising, you are praying to God and you can feel something unusual. You can feel something different. You can feel something that isn't normal. First, that could just be God's own way of intervening. Because the earthquake that God brought in that prison, let's see what happens. When God wants to give his children rest, he will cause the unusual. God sent a very unusual earthquake. And I don't know, I, I'm sure many, how many people have read this story before? You've read this story over and over again. I don't know what thoughts were in your mind when you were reading this story. Number one, this was an unusual earthquake. It only affected this prison. There is no record in the Bible that other properties, other houses in that area experienced this shaking. When God wants to move in your life, he will single you out for this unusual thing that he's going to do. Because he wants to do something significant. There's no record that other properties were affected. In fact, this prison that was affected by the earthquake was not destroyed. Can you imagine? The prison was not destroyed. The only thing that happened was the foundation shook. And that's going to be one of the prayers we're going to pray today. I told you we're going to pray. Paul and Silas prayed. They praised God. We're going to do both. Instead of destroying the prison doors... You know what happened? The prison doors were just opened. What kind of earthquake is this one? Shook the foundation, just opened the doors. Did not destroy, did not destroy the prison, but just selectively opened the door. Whatever door the enemy has shut against you, I declare them opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, this unusual earthquake loosed the bands of all the prisoners. 
What kind of earthquake is that one? It shook the foundation. It opened the doors. Wow. And then it broke loose their bands. Wow. If it was just the bands of Paul and Silas that were loose, I would say, okay, that is still good enough. But the Bible said all the prisoners' bands were loosed. So you know what that means? It is good news for you and your family. As God is settling your case, he is not just settling your case alone. He is settling the case of your entire family. Because whatever affects your family will affect you, isn't it? So if God delivers you and your auntie, your uncle, your brother, your son and daughter are still in bondage, are you not in bondage still? Uh huh. So, but the Bible said this earthquake shook and all the bands of all the prisoners, everyone associated with Paul and Silas, all their bands were loosed as well. I declare over your family that whatever has held your family captive, all those bands, God is losing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. Wow. There was no loss of life. Nobody died. When an earthquake happens, there's damage, destruction, death. But this unusual earthquake that happens, there was no destruction, no loss of life. Nobody died. In fact, instead of people dying, they were saved. I declare God will birth such unusual earthquake in your life that will turn your life right side up in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now, two words, two words, two significant words in this text. I mentioned them earlier. Suddenly. 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 The earthquake came suddenly. You're saying, God, when is it going to happen? Look at your neighbor. Say, it's going to happen suddenly. It's going to happen suddenly. It's going to happen suddenly. It is going to happen. Suddenly means without warning, without notice, quickly, unexpectedly. The other word that we read in this scripture is immediately. He said, immediately the doors were opened. And that was no more delay. Help me prophesy to your neighbor. Say, suddenly it shall happen. Immediately it shall happen. Say it like you mean it. Say it will happen suddenly and it will happen immediately. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God is going to give you rest. Suddenly and immediately. In the name of Jesus. I put out these two words will be the description of God's intervention in our lives. God's unusual earthquake. We're going to spend some time praying because I want us to pray. Hallelujah. God's unusual earthquake. Let's read Matthew 27, 50 to 52. Matthew 27, 50 to 52. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened. Hey, hey. And many bodies of the saints which slept arose. He says the earth quaked. When Jesus died, there was an earthquake. When Jesus died, there was an earthquake. I'm going to read one more scripture. Matthew 28, verse 2. Matthew 28, verse 2. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone, and the stone from the door and sat upon it. When Jesus died, the earth quaked. When Jesus was about to be resurrected, guess what happened again? Another earthquake. Wow! The earthquake at his death, the earthquake at his resurrection. I declare that you will experience God's unusual earthquake in the name of Jesus. The Bible said when the earthquake at his resurrection, God sent an angel from heaven that rolled away the stone. I declare over your life, every stone of opposition in your life is rolled away in Jesus' name. Is rolled away. You will experience God's unusual earthquake in the name of Jesus. Now you and I know that without the death and the resurrection of Jesus, there is no hope of us having rest. The reason why we talk about having rest today is because Jesus died. And he rose again. And during those two important experiences of Jesus' life, there was an earthquake. Hallelujah. You're going to rise up to your feet and we're going to pray. How many people are ready to pray? 
Say to your neighbor, excuse me, I want to pray. Say to your neighbor, excuse me, I want to pray. You know, I want to pray. Say to your neighbor, this is not a gentlemanly thing or a lady thing. I just want to pray. And I want you to pray with every fiber of your being. Lift up your voices this afternoon and say, Father, thank you for your intervention in my life. Let me hear your voices. You are going to pray. The Bible said, Paul and Silas prayed. Paul and Silas prayed. Say, Father, thank you for your intervention. Thank you for your intervention. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for your intervention. Let me hear your voices. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift up your voices. Thank you, Lord, for your intervention. Thank you, Lord, for your intervention in my life, in my family, in your my life, in my home. Thank you for your intervention. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The first prayer request we're going to give before God after that brief thanksgiving. He said, Father, today, please visit the foundation of our lives and shake out anything not of you. Lift up your voice and pray. This is the foundation with your unusual earthquake. This is the foundation of my life, Lord. And shake out, shake it out, shake it out. Anything not of you, shake it out. Brethren, I want you to pray, 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 pray. Paul and Silas prayed. God, this is the foundation of my life. Shake it, shake it, shake out, shake out everything not of you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We're going to say, Father, today, please send your unusual earthquake and open all our prison doors and make us free in the name of Jesus. Say, God, all the doors must open. All the doors must open. Send your unusual earthquake. Open up prison doors. Open up prison doors. All cages. All incarceration. Open it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open up prison doors. Lift up your voices and cry. Open it, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. All prison doors. All prison doors. Open it, Lord. Open it, Lord. Open it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Send your unusual earthquake. Visit, oh God. Visit our lives. And open. Open our prison doors. In the name of Jesus. Open it, Lord. Say, God, I am free. I am free. I am free. In the name of Jesus. I am free. In the name of Jesus. I am free. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, Father, we know that the grave could not hold Jesus captive. Hey, please send your unusual earthquake and destroy all the graves in our lives and set us free. Set us free. The Bible said, at the death of Jesus, at the death of Jesus, the grave, the, the, there was a great earthquake. At his resurrection, there was a great earthquake. Lord, send your earthquake and every grave in our life. Destroy, destroy, destroy every grave. The Bible said the grave could not hold him captive. The grave will not hold us captive. In the name of Jesus, we are coming out. We are coming out. We are coming out. We are coming out. We are free. We are coming out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are still praying. Make sure you are praying. Make sure nothing distracts you. Say, Father, today, send your unusual earthquake and lose all our bands. Lose our bands. Lose our bands and set us free. Send your unusual earthquake. Lose our bands. And set us free, Lord. Lose our bands, Lord. Lose our bands, oh Lord. Lose our bands, oh Lord. And set us free. In the name of Jesus, lose our bands. Break the chains. 
Break the chains. Break the chains. In the name of Jesus. Set us free, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lose our bands, Lord. Lose our bands, Lord. We are free. In the name of Jesus. Lose our bands, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. Say, Father. Say, Father. Today. Send your unusual earthquake and deliver our families and deliver our families. I told you earlier, all the prisoners, all the bands were free. Everyone in that prison associated with Paul and Silas, the bands were free. The bands were broken. The bands were broken. Every member of my family in bondage, deliver today. Deliver today. Deliver today. Deliver today. In the name of Jesus, deliver my family. Lift up your voices. Don't just pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Deliver our children. Deliver our spouses. Deliver our loved ones. Deliver our household from every chain, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deliver every member of the house of God. Deliver every member of the Ezra family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are delivered. We are delivered. We are free. We are delivered. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. We are still praying. Say, Father, today, send your unusual earthquake and roll away, roll away the stone of opposition in our life. In the name of Jesus, Father, today, send your unusual earthquake and roll away the stone of opposition in our lives, Lord. In the name of Jesus, send your earthquake, your unusual earthquake, and roll away, roll away, roll away, roll away. Oh God Almighty, every stone of opposition, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. We have one prayer more to pray. Say, Father, today, send your unusual earthquake and give us rest and give us rest and give us rest say father we receive rest say the unusual earthquake and give us rest say the unusual earthquake lord give us rest rest on every side rest rest oh god give us rest say the unusual earthquake lord and give us rest in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah 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 the bible said paul and silas they sang praises to god you and i are going to lift up our voice and begin to praise god go ahead praise him hallelujah 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 Come on, praise them. Come on, praise them. Come on, praise them. Come on, praise them. Ombiriando, Omberekende, Ebiriando, Oshimanda, Megin Ebereke, Ebelekoto, Omberiando, Osimaniande, Emberekerebo, Oriamberebe. Oh, we give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. Lord, we give you glory. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy, Father. Oh, we give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. You are worthy, Lord. Ale, ale, hallelujah. 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 Come on. Ale, ale, hallelujah. Ale, ale, hallelujah. Ale, hallelujah. Yeah, ale, ale, hallelujah. 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 Let me hear you. Ale, ale, hallelujah. Ale, ale, hallelujah. Come on. Ale, ale, hallelujah. Come on. Ale, ale, hallelujah. We praise you. Ale, hallelujah. Ale, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ale, ale, hallelujah. 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 Ale, 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 ale,
Silas did. Oh God, just a wee bit of it. But we thank you Lord, the same way they experienced your unusual earthquake. Father, we too shall experience it. Suddenly in the name of Jesus. Immediately in the name of Jesus. And there will be a turnaround in that situation. There will birth rest in our life. Rest from sickness. Rest from poverty. Rest from confusion. Rest from disappointment. Rest from failure. Rest from retardation. Rest from retrogression. Rest from failure. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rest from bondage. In the name of Jesus. Rest from sorrow. From anguish. From pain. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you. Just give him a wave this morning and just say thank you Lord. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you Father. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Let your amen be born again. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.